Hey guys, what you guys are looking at now are the classes that I use to get my Moab. So, if you guys want to copy them, you can. And uh, so, I use the MP7, the silencer and extended mags. My secondary, which I did not use, so I'm not even going to say it. And I use the Simtech and the Flash Grenade. And uh, for my perks, I use Scavenge Pro, Assassin Pro, and Sit Rep. My specialist bonus that I used was Slide Hand Pro, Hardline, and Stalker Pro. And the death trigger I use is Juke. So, you know, I have a couple stories I want to share with you guys. And, uh, you know how little brothers always, you know, pick on their younger bro brothers. And, uh, so, I was like two. So, I had a little swing, and, uh, you know, I love swinging it. So, my brother told me to get in the swing. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. So, my brother somehow found a bungee cord. And, uh, I don't know where, but he found one. Excuse me. And, um, he hooked it up to the, you know, um, rope that was, you know, on the side of me because, he, you know, the rope ends up hooking up on top of a branch. But uh, he, he found a bungee cord, hooked up to the side of me, and he pulled as far as it can go. And uh, he told me he lost his grip, but I'm sure. But when, it, when he let go, the bungee cord shot like a rocket and hit me in the head. And uh, let's just say I kind of was bleeding everywhere in the head. Yes, that hurt like hell. And, uh, you know, my brother is, you know, is three to four years older than me, so he gets everything before me. So, for Christmas, he was able to get a three-wheeler, and, uh, you know, I got jealous because he was able to ride it and have fun. Well, I couldn't because I was not old enough. So, he was able to ride around, have fun, and, uh, yeah, so I had to watch. So, I probably cried. Who knows? But, you know, after my time was, after, you know, I was three or four, I was able to get one, too. And, uh, so I was always used to ride with my brother, like, all the time, so... This one particular day, he did not want to ride. I don't know where it was. So, you know, my stepdad decided to do some garden work. But, uh, you know, I, I live in a ranch house. And um, I had the front back, I had the front yard, backyard, left yard, and the right yard. And uh, 49 acres plus the 10 acres. And uh, the, the rest of my 49 acres that I have is all woods. And I'm, like, surrounded by woods besides the 10 acres of grass. But, um... Yeah, so, you know, my stepdad, you know, was in the garden, and I don't know why, I was riding around the yard, and I decided to look at him for a couple seconds, and I was not paying attention of where I was going. So, I hit a concrete lid for our, um, what's it called, sewage tank, and, uh, let's say I did a couple flips, somersaults, and, uh, yeah, but my thriller did not break or nothing, so I'm happy for that. And, you know, uh, that's why you should pay attention and wear a helmet. And uh, another story I have for you guys is um, my uh, said they got me a um, 1971 mini bike and got my brother a 1991 Honda 70. But um, it was raining this particular day, and uh, you know I'm usually never allowed to ride you know on the grass. So I begged my stepdad and he let me, which he probably regrets, but I don't know. But uh, I'm driving through the yard. I'm on driveway. For you know a good half an hour to an hour, and eventually you know I'm like, yeah, forget this, I'm gonna go in the yard. So when I did that, um, I made a half way around the yard, and I kind of slipped onto the grass, and I burnt my leg on the muffler, and that hurt like hell. And uh, like I was in shock, so I didn't really feel it. But the thing that really hurt was like one changing the bandages, because you know the bandages or whatever you want to call it would stick to your wound and. You had to rip it off every single time. Yes, that's what sucked. So, moving on to one other story that I have. It's like, I'm more of the responsible one. And, you know, I'm the one that saves my money if I want something. My brother's different. My brother probably, like, when he has his money, he'll probably buy, buy some drugs or something. I don't know, but, um, I'm different. I save my money to get what I want. So, uh, I bought a tiny spoiler with my money and, uh, after a couple of years, I thought it was slow, so I sold it for 400 bucks, and uh, the money that I saved up in my bank, um, I uh, used 400 of it, took it out of the bank, and I bought myself a Yamaha Blaster for $800 from some Mexican, but I'm not going to tell you a story about him, maybe in a different video, but um, so I got it, and uh, after, you know, I was like 12 when I got it, and uh, after a while, you know, it, it was just slow for being a Yamaha Blaster, so um I had my stepdad fix the throttle, and that's what ended up happening. So my brother figured, you know, um, you know, it's going on the side road. And, uh, you know, I thought my stepdad fixed it, but I, 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 he didn't. 
So, you know, just get to my driveway. There's a bridge I get to go over, and, um, and it's like a side road if you want to go back over my bridge. So, uh, my brother took off onto the side of the bridge, or took off onto our side road, and I was following him. And, you know, I was coming around, like, an, I was going around the yard like an angle. So, if, you know, unless you know my throttle stuck. So, if I, I could not stop, I was, like, going third gear full throttle, and, uh, yeah, well, I was gonna, you know, go off. Or going onto the bridge and turn off there. Because I, I know soft place land because I just land on water or I drown. So, I figured, you know, I was gonna go, uh, turn before the bridge, and, uh, but I forgot about these pipes that were, you know, sticking out. So, and I probably would have, you know, made it like Evil Knievel, but, uh, the pipes were there. So, I skidded on that, and I nosedived down, and, uh, I didn't get hurt because I jumped off right onto the soft mud while my four-wheeler nosedived down, hit the front bumper, and tipped upside down, uh, sucking in all the water. Yeah, so, uh, after that, you know, uh, my boy realized that, you know, I wasn't behind him, so he came back and helped me flip it over, because I was freaking out, because I was like, oh my god, my four-wheeler is flooding! So, um, you know, we got it flipped over and we drained all the, you know, uh, water out of the motor. And, you know, it was running for a little bit and it stopped running. So we tried cleaning out the carburetor and, uh, it ran for a little bit longer and it, you know, stopped. So we figured out there's like a gallon of water in my tank because, uh, we didn't think water could have gotten the tank. So, um, we drained that out, got more gas. So now it's running like a boss. And we fixed our throttle cable because we figured out there's sand in it. So now it's running like a boss. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you liked my commentary, drop me a like. And uh, you know, just, I just want to thank you guys again for watching. So uh, peace out, and then, and 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 I'm out. That was weird.